let's look at the entrepreneur. Here we have Ritesh Argawal of Oyo Hotels, one of the world's most brilliant entrepreneurs that went through at a very young age, started an entire motel chain across all of India and then expanded across the entire planet. And he grew in the process and people had enough faith in him that even though he had a business failure, they saw the vision behind him and he went through and became that. A lot of entrepreneurs are huge visionaries. They're the engines that drive our economy, yet their abilities are shrouded in mystery. Everybody wants to study them and everything else, but they want to know how they figure out how to do that. But really, a lot of their stuff, that the skill sets they have, they're learned through experience, experimentation, and interaction. That's why later on when we talk about the parts that make up our course, you'll see why it's structured that way. Trial and error is often the norm in the early years of an entrepreneur's life. Lack of money and resources force them to develop thought patterns and skills difficult to convey in a traditional textbook classroom format. Frankly, entrepreneurship can be a challenge to teach because you don't even need a college education to become highly successful. It helps fuel your success, especially later on, but you need to have that drive to go out and do something out there. But that lack of money and resources forces you to be even more creative than you were originally. You need to have tacit knowledge and yet know something yet it's difficult to convey as to that I really know that it's almost instinctual. It's came from the informal learning process by observation, experimentation, and finally adaption in the process. You always want to sit down and look at different things and then pay attention to what's going on around you. You may be pursuing this market over here and you're going forward and everything else, and you're doing okay, but you see an opportunity over here, you need to maybe put this on hold and then focus here, and then you'll thrive. And one comment that Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon said, he said, the reality is the, the allegory of using baseball, like you get up with bases loaded, and you take one swing of the bat, you get a grand slam. He says, it doesn't fit in the world of entrepreneurship because sometimes when you have a grand slam, you don't get four runs, you get a thousand runs because of the fact that that one thing is what, what the customers were looking for. So you sometimes you look, sometimes you don't know exactly where you're going, and then you find it and everything clicks as it goes. It's an ability to identify opportunities, find resources, cope with uncertainty in the process. It really begins with the mindset here, which is what hopefully we're going to accomplish over here. We're going to focus in on a couple of things on the mindset, the choices, the action, and the outcome in the process over here as we go through. Think about what you want to have, know the, uh, the beliefs and assumptions about the world around us, and then apply that because of the fact you find a new opportunity and a discovery. So we talk about entrepreneurship, focus in on opportunities that are abounding out there. And when you see something that really catches your eye or an idea, you get something out, either your phone or a piece of paper, and write that down as a potential opportunity. You may see seven or eight opportunities, but you just need one to be successful. Take care.